I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorm, Maine. Uh, this is a very common oak barrister bookcase. Uh, they're pretty neat. It's not in bad shape. We're going to clean it up and put it back together. But what this video mainly will concentrate on is I do have to refinish the top. It's got a lot of bad water stains and I'm going to use oxalic acid to get those water stains out. I've stripped the top just using regular uh, paint stripper. I wash it off with TSP. You can really see uh, after it's been stripped the water damage. This top is veneered, but I'm going to sand it very carefully, uh, but with 100 grit paper. I want to cut down through the uppermost layer, uh, kind of expose some new wood so that my oxalic will absorb and hopefully take these stains out. I just want to see a little bit of solidus coming up so that I know I've got this wood cleaned off really well. Okay, I've sanded the whole piece with 100. Now mix up some oxalic. I just run the tap water as hot as I can get it. This tap water gets pretty hot, which is good. I don't do any precise measurements. I'm going to put about 16 ounces of hot water in here and like a half of this 8 cup measure of oxalic acid. Now I'll brush on the oxalic. You can't just put it on the spots where the rings are. You've got to do the whole surface. And I can't really keep it off the sides, so I'll do the sides too. It won't change the color. Now I've been keeping this wet for about a half an hour or so. In other words, whenever I see dry spots appear, I just put it down. And uh, a lot of the stuff has disappeared, but the worst of the rings has not. So I actually think I want to mix up an even stronger batch and use it on this top. Now I'll apply the stronger solution. Then I'll have to wait a while and see how that works. Alright, I've let this dry overnight. Um, I can still see shadows of some of these rings, so that's a little disappointing. But what I'm going to do is rinse this off really well. It's important after using oxalic to rinse it off well. Okay, I've let the top dry. The rings are still very faint, but I'm going to see if they sand out. Alright, I've sanded this really well with 100 and 150. Uh, I certainly can't see much of the rings. The next step is to stain it. Sometimes when you stain it, the, the rings or spots may reappear somewhat, but I, I know I've gotten them off as well as I can. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's see what we've got. This is great. Really, I don't see any trace of the rings and water spots. There was a spot here that was the biggest ring, and then a bunch of spots over here. I'll seal it with a coat of shellac, and then I think I'll give it a couple of coats of polyurethane in case somebody decides to put plants on this thing again. Okay, uh, here you're going to see with uh, the top all done with some finish on it. The spots are completely gone. It looks pretty good. 